Hey guys, this is Ben with Funnel Pro Academy. I had a few people ask me already about how I optimize for mobile. So basically how to get your funnels looking good on a cell phone. Um, so I'm just going to show you really quick a few things I do to get it to look just as good on a cell phone as it does on desktop, right? So we've got this funnel right here we're working on for one of our clients. Uh, it looks pretty good on desktop. It's got this cool image over here and then a little quiz over here. So it's basically just a squeeze page that will lead us into the sales page. Um, problem is when you look at it on a cell phone it looks pretty bad uh, there's a lot of space you don't even see the model you don't see yeah you know it doesn't look nearly as impressive as as on a desktop which is obviously really bad because especially if we're going to be running Facebook ads a lot of our traffic is going to be mobile so here's what I do real quick go over here to desktop all I do is I duplicate the section um, I already did it so I'm just going to make it reappear <laughs> the work that I already did so right here you can see I've hidden it I just went to sections all sections and I've hidden it so you can't see it so I'm gonna make it reappear and it is mobile only so you won't see it on desktop um, I'll pull it up for you though so go right down here here it is so what I did I'll just kinda of break it down for you and this top one actually we're gonna to set to um, desktop only. What I'm doing right there is I just went to settings. At the bottom you can set it to mobile or desktop only or all. Or you can just hide hide it basically. But I'm going to set that top one to desktop only because I don't want to see that on the cell phone. Go back here to the mobile view. And here's the mobile only. You can see you did it right if you see that red square that says mobile only. Perfect. And so I did a few things here to get it to look good. You see it looks pretty different than it does on desktop. Um, problem is, you know, obviously this background image, when it just automatically gets squishes by click funnels, then or when it automatically adjusts to mobile by click funnels, then you're not going to see the girl. So what I had to do is um, went into Photoshop and just removed her from the background and then made my own background. Um, so obviously if you don't deal with Photoshop, then just, you know, Pay someone five or five bucks, and they'll they'll remove, you know, whatever object you're working with from the background. For it's definitely just a five dollar job. It's pretty easy to do. Um, but yeah, so basically that's what I had to do for this. You won't need to do that for most background images. Most of them are going to be okay on mobile. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you really want to emphasize mobile, you want it to look good, then I would definitely recommend doing this step. So uh, first thing I did though is I, you'll notice here on the desktop version, I'm using columns. On the mobile version, I never use columns just because they get stacked underneath each other anyways. So there's no point in using columns in your rows. And so I just s created a new row, and and uh, instead of using the column feature, I just stack everything on top of each other. Now the second part for the quiz, you'll notice over here on desktop, got the cool question and the quiz and the model. So on mobile, I kind of you know divided it up differently. I've got the question up here, got the model in the middle, and I've got the quiz right underneath it. But the um, problem was at first when I did the quiz underneath the model, it didn't really stand out. So it's just, it wasn't really catchy. So I went ahead and created a separate row for the quiz and added a top and bottom border. That would be right here under advanced settings, <clears throat> top and bottom border. And then I went and uh, I'd made it white, but made it a little bit opaque so that way it doesn't stand out. Uh, the opacity I turned down a little bit so it doesn't stand out too much, right? Um, also for the image of the model, um, at first it was just uh, too far down. Um, another little tip I'll just recommend since I just thought about it, when you click on preview, if you really want to see what it looks like on a phone, then copy this URL and send it to your cell phone. You can either I usually use Facebook. I'll just log in and send myself a message on Facebook, and then I'll copy the URL and paste it in my browser on my on my actual cell phone. So that's the only way to see what it's really going to look like on your cell phone, right? Um, the the new editor in ClickFunnels is great because you can see a preview, but I still trust my cell phone obviously the most um, to see what it really looks like, right? So I pull up my cell phone and I notice that um, this bottom part was getting cut off on the phone. Um, so I went ahead and moved the image of the model up a little bit. It says zero, but it's actually negative 20. It's a neat little thing you could do in ClickFunnels because um, you'll notice it kind of overlaps the other element. Um, and so we'll, we'll use that also with the uh, different, if you're trying to do different like graphic 
type stuff where you want to overlap the other image. And that's pretty much it. So again, just to summarize it, uh, when you want to optimize for mobile, go ahead and clone the section. Um, try to avoid columns. And then once you've cloned it, set one to desktop only and set the other one to mobile only. The way you do that is right here under settings. Sorry, it keeps jumping to the row thing. I'll go ahead and do it in desktop. Since I don't have any space in there, it doesn't want to show me the section. So you just go in here to settings, and right here at the bottom you can tell it mobile or desktop only. And that is pretty much it. I think I covered it all. Uh, the last little uh, piece of advice is just the background image I used here. Um, the dimensions of it. I actually set the dimensions in Photoshop to 1080 by 1920. And so that just gave me a good solid background image for uh, a mobile optimized funnel. Um, it's not too important, but <laughs> I'll put the notes in the, in the description as well. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me directly um, or just any of us here at Funnel Pro Academy. All right. Thanks.